Welcome back to Henry's Garage. In this episode, we continue working on replacing the clutch. Um, and so we clean up a few bits, we get everything ordered, we get the clutch bearing, release bearing replaced, we put in the clutch and the, um, the release spring, I can never remember what it's called. Um, and we stop there for this one. So next episode we'll continue on from where I am now. Uh, progress is okay. Enjoy, subscribe, comment and um, see you at the next episode. Okay I haven't ordered the parts for this car yet, for the stag. Um, but what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to take this off. I, I've given it a bit of a clean. I'm not going to paint or anything, but I've given it a bit of a clean. I'm going to take the um, support bracket off and clean that up properly and repaint it to support it. I think these bushes look okay, so I'm not going to replace those, although this one is looking a bit the worse for wear. And this one doesn't appear to have a ring inside. A sleeve. Um, now it's entirely possible that's fallen out somewhere, uh, so I need to have a look for that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, paint it, clean it up, paint it up, and put it back on. I'm not going to show all of that. I'm just telling you I'm going to do it. Um, the other thing is, I dropped. I can't find the plunger and spring for the gear lever. Okay, now. This is all open, see, I can, uh, and it's open all the way to the back here, so I think if it fell out, it would have either fallen within here, and I can't see it going anywhere from there, or it would have fallen out and onto the ground somewhere, and I can't see it there, so I don't think it was there. But just to be safe, I'm thinking about taking the top cover off and just having a look inside. That would mean getting a new gasket for here. I don't want to be playing around on the inside at all. Um, so that's what I, I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna just start with this at the back, as I originally said. So I've um, taken it apart completely. I degreased, wire wheeled, degreased again, and then they've had one coat of hammerite. Um, in terms of the bushings, these aren't looking too bad, but they're not looking brilliant. So I'm going to see how much they cost and whether or not it's worth replacing them. And for these little bushings with the sleeves, well, three of them I recovered. The fourth one is really wrecked. So this one, this one I'm really... It's just nothing there. Um, but even these, um, so that's quite a good fit. But this, this isn't very tight here. And I do only, oh, and this is very loose. So, and I do only have three sleeves out of four. So I'm gonna have a look at these as well. I might replace these at the same time since I've taken it apart. Um, Yeah, so that'll get another coat, and I'll have a look at how much these things are going to cost me. Right, this isn't brilliant. I'm a bit worried about this move, my um, dial falling off the car here, but we're going to go for it anyway. And I just want to check that my flywheel isn't... Oh, God, how am I going to move that? There we go. Right, let's go get crowbar. Right, we're back. So I want to make sure that it's not out of round. Right, I'm going to have to get something else. <laughs> I'm positive I've gone the whole way round now. And that hasn't moved at all. And the reason it hasn't moved is it's not touching. I don't know if that was caused by the camera at all. 
I haven't been able to film this in the end because the only way I could secure this so that it would stay and not move when I was turning was using the steel of the um, sump and in using the steel of the sump I can't the only thing I can do is see here I couldn't and the only way I can turn it with is with the short bar like this okay so oh, is, that in? is that in so that's right so hang on there we go right so I have the dial here so I can see his face just all right and then I can turn it with this square bar on the dowels but anything longer and I'm ba banging things and this is the only place I could get it so um, I got it on here I got it touching we did get some movement um, but we were allowed four thousandths of an inch um, or 0.1 mil and we had close to 0 0.02 mil so um, this is um, flat okay um, so that's good so with that in mind I'm not gonna do anything on the flywheel I'm just going to um, be glad that it's okay okay so I want to check that the plunger and um, thingy haven't from the from the gear lever haven't fallen in here since I lost them so I'm gonna just take the top off I've ordered a new gasket for it and I'm just gonna take the top off and look I'm, I, I have no intention whatsoever of doing anything in here so I hope doing this doesn't force me to do something else for some reason Right, I took those off. I didn't remove this at all because um, it was stuck, you know, it was well in and I was just worried about it. So I was just looking here. Okay, now, if it falls down here, you can see my finger coming in from outside. So it can fall out. Okay, but it can't actually get in. So um, here it's, you know, there's no way the plunger's going to have fitted in where these bars go in. There's no way it's got in through solid aluminum or metal there so actually I've been worrying that the plunger's fallen inside here somehow when it simply can't so I'm going to stop worrying about that. It's been a while since I've been in the garage, at least a week in fact, uh, but I've got everything here now so this is my new uh, master to um, slave cylinder hose um, which hopefully is a lot sturdier than the previous one. Um, in here we've got a bunch of small parts. So we've got new exhaust gaskets. Uh, what's this? Uh, a new plunger for the gear shift. Um, this is some sort of bearing by the look of it. Brush spa, oh, it's a spacer, so that's for the um, um, the support bracket. Here's some new um, bolts for it. There's a spring for the gear lever. Uh, that is a stud for the exhaust. Um, that is probably a bolt for the exhaust, I would guess. I'm not sure. Um, these are spacers for the transmission support. Uh, that's for an install tool. And I've got a washer here as well. So, anyway, so we've got a bunch of small bits. Um, we have a New gator for the gear lever. Uh, I've got a new gasket here, but I won't use it. This is for the top of the gearbox, but um, 
the one that I took off was fine and I put it back on. Oil filter because we'll change the oil at the end of this. And then we've got here our uh, new clutch components. So we've got one clutch plate. <coughs> The bearing and um, of course the, the spring. So um, I think we'll start by putting on the the plate and the spring and then we'll move on to the bearing. Now interesting thing about this bearing is, um, uh, which way round will it go? Let's have a look. Uh, right, so this is the existing one, as we can see on the car, and it's completely, effectively smooth along here. This one has a lip, okay? So that's how much this has worn down. Um, so that's a good lesson and learning for me about what these end up looking like. So, um, yeah, uh, big difference, big, di big, big difference. <clears throat> so... Before I started installation, I wanted to make sure I knew which way round this goes. And I was expecting some sort of writing on here, because they're not the same sides. The sides, are, you know, it's not symmetrical. Um, to tell me which was flywheel side and which was gearbox side. There's nothing on there, but fortunately, on the old one. Just here, so we can zoom in on it. I don't know how well that's coming out really, but I can read here flywheel side. So the flat side goes to the flowery wheel. This bit goes to the gearbox. Right, we have some instructions that came with it. So I was just going to start installing, but I think we'll follow the instructions. Um, so we've taken it out of the box. All the bits are there. I've I've just slid um, the clutch plate onto the spline, and it fits perfectly. So um, I should probably I'll probably hold the pressure plate up to the um, uh, to make sure the dowels all fit right, and then we're good to go there. So I'll do that. And then we're going to give the gearbox um, and the flywheel area both a clean. Not with an air, air gun, but just, um, I don't have a vacuum out here, so it'll just be a, a couple of wipes. Okay, so my first problem is trying to get it to fit. And um, I've tested that I can get the old one on, and I can, but I can't get this one on. And the problem is all coming down to one of the holes and it's not the dowel it's the hole so you can see how that one slides on you can see how this one slides on but this one won't it's just t tiny tiny fraction too small well maybe actually no, so I can't get it past there. Okay, just won't go. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna try a tiny little file to that to see if we can sort that out. This is really frustrating. Right, so this is the old one. Okay, the old one goes on. You can see that nicely. So that's all fine. The new one, I've sorted out the hole, so all three holes now, you know, the dowels will fit on all three holes. But I can only get two 
in at a time. So the top one is in, and this one is in. And if we come over, see if I can get some light on here for you. If we come over and just look at this one. So if we look at this dial here, we can see it's not centered. Okay, and it's off by probably a millimetre, to be honest. Shit. Right, I have here the old plate, the old spring at the bottom, the new one at the top. And what I've done is I've lined up the three dowel holes. And from the top, like this, they appear to line up just perfectly. Okay, so I'm now going to flip it over. And when I line them up from this side, that's good, that's good. But this one here looks just a bit off. So I'm going to just do a bit of work trying to make this hole here match this hole here and see if we can then fit it on. Right, so that's got it on. So I've got something fitting now. I'll be fine when it's bolted on. I know everything goes together. Um, I need to check the next step, which I think is cleaning it all up. All right, so that's been cleaned off. It's been cleaned off in here. And I've cleaned the flywheel as well. All right, so we want to check the flywheel surface, which we'd already done a little while ago when I was spinning it and measuring for any movement. We haven't got oil leaks as far as I can see, so we're okay there. Check the surface of the guide tube. Well, I've looked at that. I, I need to take it apart actually first. So we will take off the current bearing and have a look at that now. Okay, so I think what goes on here is I unscrew this and we then take it out. put my glasses down somewhere I can't find them and I need them to be able to see what I'm doing is that am I going the right way there oh no I think that's tightening it Right, come on, think this through. That way is clockwise, that way is anti. It feels wrong. But it is doing the right thing. So I didn't actually, maybe I didn't need to unscrew that actually. Right, so this comes off. And I've got to work out how to press the bearing out of here. Right, so we're going to try to press this out. I've got it all lined up, it's quite, I, I think this is the way it goes. I hope it is. And um, when I was saying that there's no lip there, well, that's because the lip's on the other side. So, that's why. Okay. So the um, arm comes in here and it on this groove and it pushes it forward. And what I notice here is I've got 
quite a significant notch built up. Now it's not built up everywhere, just there, and not on the opposite side of it. So it's it's the opposite to that. It has quite a significant notch. Other than that, this looks all good. So I don't know. There's a tiny chip there as well. So I think that's probably okay. So I'm going to clean that off. I'm not going to. I haven't bought anything for that, so good. I'm just going to clean that off a bit and um, put it back on. But let's have a look at the rest of the clutch as well. Okay, so here's the rest of the mechanism which I've taken out. So anyone who, and I'm sure anyone who is watching my channel knows about Triumph um, gears and how they, they run, or how they work. But, um, you know, fundamentally, this is in like that. That's interesting, why is it upside down now? Oh, this goes that way, that's why. Okay, so it's like that. Uh, oh, I might have just swapped that around, I'll need to check. But the this comes through, the Dell comes through, it comes in here in order to locate it. This is known for braking. And actually when I look at it, um, well, I was going to say it looked worn, but actually when I feel it, it doesn't. So I think it's just that it's the dowel and it's dirty. Okay, so this is on here, nice. And it must go that way because the screw was on this side. Okay, so that's on there, nice. And it drives in through here. Okay, and that bushing is good as well. There's so you can see a tiny bit of movement there, but once it's through to the other one as well, there's no movement at all. Okay, and then if I feel along here, they've got no ridges or anything worn there, so I consider all of that good. I'm going to give it a bit of a clean, but I'm going to do nothing more with it than that. Alright, we'll press the new one on. There you go, it's all nicely in place. Somewhat different sound, and look at the difference in <laughs> the surface. So good. Okay, we're going to reinstall this stuff now, and we're going to put a bit of grease on. I hope that's the right thing to do. So, and I'm just using multi-purpose grease, and we're going to. Stick some in here, get that nicely sped around. I'm going to stick some in this side. And get that nicely sped around. In comes the shaft. Okay. We're also going to put some in here. So that's in. I also had this in the box, so Borgen Beck clutch spline grease. So I'm assuming that's for these splines here. So we're going to put that on now. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Should have checked the instructions before I opened it. Okay, we're going to try install now. I have on a clean set of gloves so I don't transfer any of my mucky hands onto here. Hold that in place.
Right, we're now at 22. Good night. Right, I'm going to check them all once more. Good. Okay, we're going to stop this video here. Clutch bearing is on, clutch is back installed. Um, we now have the really fun and interesting task of getting the gearbox assembly back in place. Um, but I think we've got enough for a video, possibly too much, so we're going to go with this for now.